Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nest. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick sneaker review from Nike. Nike Air Max TW 2022. And as usual, I'm gonna share with you guys my three different looks I create to go with the show. Let's go. So the first time that I saw these shoes on the internet um, is give me a little bit of the retro and a contemporary design into this Air Max TW 2022. I see there's a lot of inspiration from the past of the Air Max. Uh, I don't really know a lot about Air Max products or I'm into Nike Air Max shoes, uh, but I know there's a lot of hardcore fans out there. They really into Nike Air Max products in general, so I respect that. Uh, dig deep into the story behind of this Air Max TW 2022. I realized this. I was right, you know, there's a lot of retro look into these shoes and uh, the inspiration from the past. Uh, the detail that they got inspiration from is the Tailwind number three, Tailwind four, and also the Tailwind 1996. And um, closer to the contemporary design wise though, is the Nike Air Max 270 React ENG. Based on those four inspiration, I pull all those picture out. I can see there's a lot of mixed up detail that on the shoes as well, you know. So let's talk about the shape of the shoes because it's very important. So the toe shape on the shoes is basically the inspired by uh, the Tailwind 19 96 um which is i can see it you know it's a little bit pointy and narrow on the toe shape but i'm not sure because i don't really own a pair tailwind 1996 back then I, I bet i don't even have money to spend on the nike products and also um the other detail that they inspire from the tailwind 1996 is this uh, embroidery logo in the toe and also in the back of the heel counter as well as on the top of this mustache. Um, I think it's really cool that they took directly inspiration from the past. You know, it's more like continue the legacy of the nice gay products, especially the tail wind model, the detail chiffon in the quarter of the shoes. Um, they are taken directly on the Nike Air Max 270 React ENG. That's what I thought when I first time I saw it, you know, even the shape of it too, you know, when you put the shoes on, you feel like the heel drop is kind of high, similar to the Air Max 270 React ENG. In the texture material, it's a little bit modern. Um, if you look on the mesh and material that they use on uh, this, uh, upper is kind of translucent, you can see through, and under that you can see there's a wavy design line uh, similar to the Nike Tailwind 4. That is what they got inspiration from also, as well as the lace loop. And also in the toe though, is the reflective 3M around this toe tip that you can see this is the blue pattern there. And also in the back of the heel counter, this blue light right here, this also is the reflective material. The most iconic detail on the shoe, not the Air Max though, um, I track my attention into this chevron, a detail like on these shoes, you know, um, kind of unique in a way, but me, like I don't really like it, this detail that much. And in the tongue area, you can see, on this uh, tongue tag, like a bobo like, um, basically they inspire from uh, the past Air Max products. I can see this on um, a lot of Air Max shoes. Um, this tongue is not removable. In the gusset, they use the elastic like material, stretchy uh, for easy on and up. I like the concept, you know, I don't like a when I wear the shoes, uh, the tongue is moving side to side. Uh, that's kind of annoying and also, it kind of killed the aesthetic a little bit. You know, some people, they wear the tongue and like off the center of the foot. Just kind of kill the vibe of your style a little bit, you know. The tongue that have the gusses is much better. It's just 
make the tongue stay in one place it's not moving side to side and go to the tooling of the shoes they basically got inspired directly from the tailwind 3 um, if you look in the midsole comparison to the tailwind 3 you can see this inspiration there a design line and also in the outsole as well the only thing that kind of futuristic i would say contemporary detail is uh, the airbags um, to me, this airbag is to remind me of uh, the Nike Air Max 2021 that I already done my review on. Um, Those are look very futuristic, just like uh, this airbags right here, you know. Uh, and they are very similar color. I think they are the same color as green. So it kind of ring me back to that Air Max 2021 a little bit. This airbag spear like it remind me of the Hong Kong waffle egg cake you know it's just 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 how it look you know to me like i'm not really a fan of these airbags aesthetic that much compared to the air max 2021 and also this uh, chiron detail like on the quarter of the shoe it's not really my favorite i see there's a lot of people would uh, wear the shoe like uh, more like a mass production on these shoes you know and everybody can wear the shoes as well um the aesthetic wise I can see like it's okay aesthetic, but I wouldn't recommend people pay full price on this. Um, I definitely is gonna go on sale on this MX TW twenty twenty two. Uh, the price on this is a one hundred and sixty dollar. The fit on this is two two size. The comfort wise I think is okay. Nothing really make me feel wow about the comfort a uh, styling with the shoes i would recommend people go like a full set jogger pants with the hoodies or like a leisure athletic kind of look wise when you wear the shoes i think it would look great with the shoes or wear with jeans um, that would look nice too and uh up next i'm gonna share with you guys how i would like to style them So there you have it. This is my quick sneaker review on this Nike Air Max TW 2022. And what you think about the shoes or would you cop it with full price? I would recommend you to wait for it on sale because this kind of model 
it's definitely gonna go on sale and if you like one of the look in this video give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video i have a lot of video coming up every single week and i can wait to share with you guys i'm out